Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have with me a very special guest. His name is Blake Merriam and he's the founder of Game Designers Network India and also the host of Indian Scholarship for GDC. And uh, he's here to talk about GDC and give you some general tips uh, on you know what to look forward to and what all you need to consider while going to GDC. GDC, by the way, is Game Developers Conference, uh, which is the biggest game developers conference in the world. So Blake, with that in mind, welcome to my channel and I'll leave it up to you to do a small in introduction to the history of GDC and we can talk further ahead. Sure, thanks a lot. Great to see you again, Nickel. Okay, yeah, GDC is the largest event for game developers in the entire world and the oldest. It started back in 1998 by Chris Crawford, Tim Bringle, Ernest Adams, all legendary figures. There was only like about 20 people at the first meeting, and then it grew larger and larger and larger. And now it is about a 30,000 person event that takes place in Moscone Center in March every year. So I've been going myself since 1994. I know the conference pretty well. So let me give you some tips on how to get the most of your experience at GDC. Tip number one, wear comfortable shoes. You will be walking around all day, running walking all day standing all day you, ladies do not wear high heels guys do not wear dress shoes leather shoes get some nice nike sneakers and your feet will thank you for it tip number two bring a jacket maybe an umbrella check the weather it can rain and it's cold in san francisco believe it or not tip number three book your hotel early this is a 30,000 person event all descending upon downtown San Francisco. The hotels get full. Tip number four, use the GDC matchmaking service. With your pass, you're able to schedule meetings with people of interest, like you're looking for publishers or a particular outsourcing person, whatever you want. Um, there is another one called Meet to Match, which is okay, but GDC app gives you like a specific place to meet because you never met this person and the other app kind of, it's a little bit confusing and you can kind of miss each other because uh, it's not I mean it's they're both okay they're both very good tip number five fellowship of GDC parties go online search that up some amazing people put together a whole excel sheet about the nightlife events that are going on definitely definitely a must use tip number six create a schedule GDC has something like six tracks going on all at once. Uh, and there are so many events and talks going on. You do not want to wait till you get there to decide what you want to see. Um, that's always, the, you'll be wasting a lot of time. Go online, check the schedule, pick what you want and act accordingly. Tip number eight, summits versus main. So the summit is on Monday and Tuesday. They tend to be longer two-day workshops or longer uh, sessions, and also things that are particularly now part of you know the latest and best practices for game development. For example, right now, there's going to be quite a few talks on AI, the hottest thing right now, and their relevance and use in game design. Tip nine, check out roundtables. Uh, there's something I think people overlook. Roundtables are not like a lecture. It's basically about 20 people in a room having an open discussion about a particular topic. It could be QA or... I think there's a great talk right now about people who have been laid off in the game industry and you know how to go about things now. Um, definitely, definitely check it out. Tip number 10, arrive a day early on the Saturday before GDC. Give yourself the Sunday to adjust a jet lag. You don't want to show up at, at this massive event, meeting and talking to important people, and you're like, uh, uh, give yourself a day. Tip number 11, when you're at the talks, there's Q&A at the end. Think of a good question to ask. You know, you'll be uh, you'll you'll be happy, and you'll score some points with the uh, with the speaker. Tip number twelve: Think about attending a talk that you didn't really think uh, you'd be interested in, or is particularly relevant to you. So maybe you're a software engineer. Go check out a talk on game uh, music and games, for example. Uh, expand your, you know, broaden your horizons. Tip number thirteen: The bring me that from their Facebook group. So as we all know, in India, there's lots of taxes on laptops and consoles and like, you know, some nice whiskey, whatever. And so there is this site that you can, you know, for someone or for yourself, you can bring something over, you know, between India and USA. There's always people requesting. You can request yourself, to, you know, and uh, you help a person out and uh, maybe even make a few uh, bucks on the site. Tip 14, business cards or not. It's still a good idea to bring business, business cards, but more and more people are using QR code systems like on LinkedIn, et cetera, to exchange information. So be prepared for that. 
Next tip, bring a portable charger for your phone. You will use it a lot all the time, texting, using the app for scheduling, matchmaking, scheduling, all that stuff. You will need it. And the last tip, if uh, you're looking for some dry snacks from back home or a thumbs up or something, number third is a nice Indian restaurant. I can't remember the name at the moment, uh, but they also have a grocery store where you can get uh, lots of snacks and other things from back home. And... Uh, That's about it for me. Thank you so much for sharing this, Nickel. Uh, for those of you going to GDC, you'll have a great time. For those who are not, check it out. It is a must-see. Uh, I believe the site gdconf.com. Take a look. So guys, now that we have all the tips in place, let's just talk a little bit about the conference and all. So, you know, conference part is great, but, you know, obviously after the conference is done, uh, what, are the, what are some of the neighboring areas that people can visit as tourist attractions? You know, obviously uh, people are going to the U.S. for the first time. So Blake, what would be your recommendation for someone who is, uh, who is probably visiting U.S. for the first time and wants to mm. explore the neighboring areas as well? Uh, I would, so one thing you could do uh, maybe just after GDC, as far as San Francisco goes, is there's place, the Exploratorium. It's lots of fun, uh, all kinds of like, I don't know, science things and creativity and art. Uh, look it up online, the Exploratorium. That's lots of fun. So Blake, while we are talking about the conference, I think one of the most important tips from my side is last year in 2023 was my first year when I visited GDC. And uh, one key aspect of that entire trip was I had my Indian number active, right? Uh, so yeah, when I used to sleep... Uh, and when I used to wake up, I used to be like, oh, my God, 50 missed calls, 50, 52 missed right. calls or whatever. Right. right? right, right. Uh, so I think now in retrospect, I think that rather than doing that, it would have been much better if I would have had a U.S. number. So what you, do you recommend uh, as, as a uh, you know, carrier? Yeah, actually, absolutely. I think there's like a T-Mobile uh Verizon, downtown San Francisco. Go in there. Make sure you bring your passport for ID. Get a local SIM card prepaid $20 done. Yeah, absolutely. Don't use your, don't do roaming. Um, also keep in mind that like there's free Wi-Fi all over Moscone. So you can also like, you know, you're there, WhatsApp, you know, that's a good option as well. Yeah. And now talking about, you know, getting around the city uh, while we arrive at San Francisco, how do we get to the conference? Uh, what are some of the public transports oh, available? Um, oh, definitely BART. B-A-R-T, BART. That's the Metro. It uh, goes to the airport or you can take you like somewhere on Market Street. Uh, it'll definitely get you to your hotel area really quickly. Bart, totally recommended. All right. And, uh, you know, talking about some of the key areas in San Francisco, uh, I also wanted to touch base upon, uh, you know, the area in which uh, the conference is. And, uh, you know, there are a few rumors or I don't know, like how, oh, how... yeah, yeah, yeah. So talking you... about the tenderloin. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Uh, okay. So the tenderloin is uh, near or kind of part of downtown San Francisco. It's very close to Moscone Center and it does have kind of a bad reputation. You know, there's lots of crazy people there and some drug use you might see. And um, yeah, I, I, I tend to think that the, the coverage the Tenderloin's gotten is a little bit overblown. Um, it is kind of a nasty place, however. You know, I wouldn't want to just hang out there for sure. Uh, however, for those of you traveling on a budget, you will see that there's a lot of really nice and affordable hostels in that area. Um, they're really good. There's Hostel International, which always has lots of, like, indie people staying there. So it's a great place to hang out. Um, it's fine. It's like a, you, you walk two blocks, you're out of the Tenderloin. And then a few more blocks, you're at GDC. It's not bad at all. The only thing, yeah, sure. If you're walking back late at night to your hostel, uh, yeah, walk with someone uh, just to be safe. All right. And uh, in general, what would be some of the areas to kind of completely avoid in San Francisco if you were going there as a tourist? Yeah, the Tenderloin area is a place that's just kind of nasty that you wouldn't want to, to hang out there. But yeah, other than that, San Francisco is very safe. There's no place I would say not to go to. Yeah, I mean, places to go to, you know, North Beach is great. It's Italian town, of course, is Chinatown right next door to that. Uh, I love Hate Street. You know, that's like if you ever heard of hippies, like that's where they're from. OK, so go to the native place of, of Hippieville right there. Lots of great shops, very creative shops. It's a vibrant street. I love Upper Hate and and there's Upper Hate and Lower Hate. Both are fantastic. Um, 
In fact, by Lower Hay, there's a great park. I can't remember the name, but you walk up it, you can get a great view of the bay. Um, all kinds of things like that. Uh, Golden Gate Park is fantastic. Uh, Conservatory of Flowers, excellent place in Golden Gate Park. So, uh, Blake, uh, can do you have any kind of advice for someone who is uh, who is new to the conference, doesn't know much about how to navigate their space? And uh, essentially, one very important thing: how to schedule your time. It's a five day conference, right? So, how mm -hmm. does one organize themselves? What time should one wake up? What time should one reach the conference? And essentially, how do you plan through your entirety? Um, I believe the talks start at uh, 9 a.m. Yeah, I would get there. I would, you know, yeah. What I would recommend in this regard is um, uh, there is a lot of nightlife events going on at GDC and uh, almost every evening. Uh, and some of them can go pretty late, uh, maybe to 12 or maybe more. Um because certain people can do that, but be careful, right? Don't party too much. Obviously, you're going to be groggy the next day. Uh, I get up, you know, at about 7 a.m. for for a GDC event. Get your breakfast, get ready, you know, and go. Another question that I have is, uh, you know, when it was my first time visiting the U.S., I was personally shocked with the tipping culture because that's, I mean, mm. in India we do tip, but it is optional, but. I believe in mm. US, it's the opposite, wherein not tipping is a it's, sign of disrespect, right? It's optional as well. I, um, actually, in the news a lot, what you'll see for tipping is when you go to a store, even if you're not sitting down, like, um, you know, you go up to to the the the, the rest, you know, it's a, it's a fast food kind of place, and you're punching in, you know, your, your debit card details, uh, and it'll ask you for a tip, 50, and or 15, 20%. Um, and you can put no tip. Um, there has been some complaints that it makes it like really, really easy to tip at the press of a button and you feel guilty if you don't. Um, but you know what? It's optional, really. I mean, it's not. Yeah, that's I guess like if you're at a restaurant, the waitress could maybe like give you a bad look or something. Um, that's probably where that is coming from. But you go to a lot of restaurants now, you can tip, but you just press the button. So you can just press no tip. And um, maybe the guy in front of you sees it, but who cares? He's not making your food anyway. <laughs> yeah. And that's uh, that actually ties up to my next question. Uh, you know, comparing US and India, uh, US is slightly more expensive. So in general, if I were to visit uh, uh, GDC as a five-day conference, so I'll have to plan for about seven to 10 days, right? So on an average, what do you think? How much cash uh, should I carry? That's one. Second part of the question is, how do I carry the cash? Do I ca carry it as a physical currency or do I load it up in a credit card or do I like, uh, can I get right. a credit yeah. card? Don't worry about cash. Yeah, I would just use your debit card from home. Go to your bank and make sure you have you're able to make transactions internationally. Most banks do in India now, but just double check. Um, and yes, yeah, use your use your card, use your credit card, debit card from back home. Uh, you can use cash and have cash, um, but uh, it's it's not recommended. Your debit card will be fine. All right, Blake. This is twenty twenty four now. GDC is so so old and so big now. Uh, what are some of the things that you are personally excited for in GDC 2024? And uh, what are some of the things that people can look forward to this year? Ooh, well, definitely India is having its first ever booth at the Expo. Uh, shout out to Machaya, oh, um, who's done a lot of work on that. Um, if you're coming, yeah, please definitely check it out. We'll have, I believe, about eight uh, games uh, you know, from Indian developers showcased for the first time. Uh, that's a must-see. And also, I always do the game uh, design two-day workshop on Monday and Tuesday. That is always fantastic. I always learn something new every year. Uh, and also, anything AI, I'm going to be all over uh, for this year. That, that's, that's the definite hot thing right now. Also, Blake, can, you, can we talk a little bit about uh, the kind of speakers that we have? Any notable names that will be speaking at GDC? Um, I haven't taken a look very much at the, um, at the, at the, at the list. There's always new people there. Um, there, they used to have a big keynote speaker of someone notable, uh, like the founder of Nintendo, for example, whose name I can't remember at the moment. Um, they in the past have had, say, the founder of Wordle, for example. He gave a couple of talks, um, but 
GDC doesn't revolve itself around notable speakers or iconic speakers. Uh, it really focuses on people sharing best practices. It's not so much, you know, the founder of a big company. It's really more people who are really on the cutting edge of the new science and development. And that's really people on the ground, like the actual developers and not necessarily the person at the top, if you're large, and a lot of indie guys. So it's very vibrant and diverse. Uh, GDC focuses on the content. It's the it's the it's what's being said more than the the speaker themselves. So Blake, this was a fantastic conversation, and uh, guys, those of you who are watching this video, all the links are mentioned in the description. A special shout out to uh, you know gdcparties.com. That's where you'll find all the after parties that are happening after the main event. Visit gdconf.com to get all your information about uh, GDC. And uh, with that in mind, thanks a lot, Blake, for doing this. Uh, thanks a lot for talking to my audience about GDC. Any last words from your side uh, for for my audience? Mm, um, yeah, spend a few days in San Francisco afterwards. Please do. And uh, oh, yes, in the links below. So I do this scholarship for GDC um, where I get uh, a lot of um, all access passes. And that, you know, that it's about a $2,000 value usually. Um, the link will be below for in 25, 2025. Um, please register for the scholarship. I'd love to... Uh, help new people come to GDC for the first time. Thank you very much, Blake. This was fantastic. Guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're finding my channel for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on my next videos. That's it for this video. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, goodbye.